Hello Capricorn, thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 23rd of October. As this week begins, so the Sun moves into the sign of Scorpio and Mars moves into the sign of Libra. For you, this has real implications, but very positive ones. The Sun moving into Scorpio sees it join up with Jupiter. Jupiter's the planet of growth. If you tuned in two weeks ago, you'll know it's moved into the most friendly, upbeat and sociable part of your scope for the first time in 12 years. Now, with the Sun joining with Jupiter in this location, you can get a real gust of positivity and hope about your long-term future. If you're someone who tends to be a, a little bit cautious when it comes to moving forwards, and that's sometimes the case with Capricorn people, this and also the move of Mars into the most prominent part of your scope is going to give you such an extra sense of self-belief, I feel, and you're going to be strutting your stuff in a much more assertive way, not least because Mars is forging an awesome angle to both the Sun and also Jupiter all through this week, a semi-sextile. So there are real blessings here if you want to make progress around your goals and ambitions, but really what the Sun, Jupiter and also Mercury are saying to you, it's how about how you go about this that's really crucial. Now, of course, Venus is already in the sign of Libra, and that can be a very helpful influence in this area for you because it brings out the ability to be diplomatic and to work solutions up through improving dialogue, especially with important people. With Mars joining, this just balances uh, Venus's more feminine energies with that thrust that comes from Mars. But I do feel that the combination of the Sun and Jupiter suggests that if you trust and reach out and engage with people in a way which other people can really relate to, that in itself is going to be as important as your CV or skill set if you are wanted to climb the ladder of success. But don't be surprised if you take more of a leading role around friendships or planning events, perhaps for the upcoming Christmas festivities. You're going to be at the centre of things, and that's going to be really exciting. But also, Mercury is forging a very subtle but important link to Neptune. If there is someone in your circle of friends who isn't having such a good time, a thoughtful comment, text message, or conversation on your part can really do a lot to buoy them. But it's also another indication that the more you can tune into the atmosphere, and the vibe and the, the mode which is going around between you and others, the more you can steer what you want to achieve for yourself. Now there is one sticky point at the uh, end of this week on Friday when there is a quarter moon. This suggests that when it comes to your values and the people you mesh in with, you can't necessarily expect that everyone's going to see things the same as you. Or it could be someone who's been quite friendly with you until now may actually seem not to have quite the same uh, value to you as they have in the past. But if you are grappling with any financial issues, you need to stay resolutely grounded and earthy in your approach. Try not to be too idealistic in the week following from Friday. But there's no doubt about it, with the Sun combining with Jupiter, there can be lots of opportunities to get together with other people, to join in, to really in, in influence situations, but also gain a lot from what other people bring to you. This is one of the most lovely of all aspects, so this could turn out to be a super week for you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck, and goodbye for now. Hello, thank you so much for watching my video. I'd love you to join me at my Horoscope Ace app. You can find this at www.horoscope-ace.com. You can use it through Android, iOS, Apple or Facebook. Check out your Ascendant or your Moon site or download your free birth chart. There's all your favourite videos, plus there are daily, weekly, monthly and yearly horoscopes for general, love, Chinese and Indian astrology. If your passion is tarot, there's my brilliant three-card Money or Love Tarot readings too. And it's all there at www.horoscope-ace.com. 
Thank you.